welcome everyone. We are on a brand new world seed. Uh, mostly because my dedicated server in a different state probably rebooted itself. So we are going to start this puppy up all over again. And um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, <clears throat> I do have end level gear here, or end, end game gear. We were in the Mistlands, not necessarily dominating the Mistlands, but in it. This is pretty. All right, let's take a moment and fire up Discord. No, not a huge fan of, of Windows 11 yet. Perhaps it will grow on me. Update failed. Well, while that's happening, let us take a look around. I don't know what to expect of this. I have no bosses marked out anywhere. Um, progression's going to be a little tough. But, you know, given the fact that the gear we have is pre pretty good. Oh. Well, hello. Who is this? This is this has got to be um, Ekthir. All right, I think this here looks like a great place to build something. Can I build this close? Do I want to build this close? Mm. Okay, what's over there? Let's check it out. What is that? This is crazy looking. So many fish. Christina's gonna go nuts. All right, what do we got here? Okay. Down to there. Hmm. I kind of like this right here. <sighs> do I just do I take a trip around? Also, I better listen to make sure my own voice is not muted. Boom. Rocking it. All right, well, we have nighttime coming up here. I plan on being cold. I'm 
curious as to where those roofers come out on the other side. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Ah, what a pretty game. Oh, I hear bees. You know what? We can't let bees go by. Alright. Get away from there, guys. Alright. So we have something for food. Voices? No. He went over upstairs for a minute. The sleep too. Oh, he's quite loud? Okay. I think he's been going that way. Thank you. Brand new world, by the way. It's very pretty. There are also two rivers. There are two rivers. There's this river right here. It's got a ton of fish in it. So sweet. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so what do we got over here? Oh, that's. Oh, oh. That's right. That's right. God, I forgot I had to learn everything all new for recipes. Do I even have a. Uh, have a pick. Oh, I have locks. Oh, that sucks. I have lock saddles. I was all set before the server went down. Well, I don't know. I mean, at a pinch... Could I could cheat the heck out of the beginning of this. Looks like mountains over there. But I think I can get through this with the the carve. Alright, let's go back. We'll build it up on the uh the one side I just looked at uh, where we came from. This is a really good area up here, too, though. Maybe we'll make this a farm at some point up here. Yeah, let's head back down. All right, so we're looking to get, I think, to that side over there. Luckily, I do have uh, the Feather Folly stuff. So. Oh, more bees. Where's my where's my queen? Oh then she just dropped food out for me. Alright, so how are we looking at? We're looking at here or there. I'm thinking over there. 
All right, let's do it. Let's do this. All right. Well, let's uh, let's try to catch up a little bit. Oop. There we go. Eh. Eh. What? What? Oh, <laughs> I see what's going on. There we go. Should be able to. I'm thinking here. This looks. This looks great. All right. Let's uh. All right, let us get some locks. We'll go ghost first and God. And then we will spawn locks tamed. I don't know if you can spawn them tamed already or not. Is it two, three, two, two? Is that it? Ah, well, let's find out. Okay, that's not it. All right. Is it three two? I think it's three two. Spawn locks three two. Nope, not it. Two three. and hungry. Tame. Tame, hungry. Tame, hungry. All right. Let's, uh, I think I do this. There we go. And... I rename it left shift E. All right. Uh, what are they, moonberries? Cloudberry. Let's go nuts. 
Okay, let's... We need a hole. I can make a hole. Ho, 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 ho. Where's my hole? There it is. Alright. Let's hold this place up. I'm going to contemplate my life and eat some food here. <laughs> Never mind the mute.
Hey, Paul. Hey, what's up, Zach? Not too much. How about you? I apologize in advance. I'm shoveling food down my throat. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, you're also streaming Valheim, from what I see. I totally, totally am. And terribly sorry. And there's a really good chance we might have Christina here at some point as well. Why is that? Because we are getting schedules down. Huzzah! What's the uh, the bedtime for the baby? Eight o'clock. Oh God, who knows? He stays up way after we do. He's up partying. Yeah, that's how they tend to do it. But yeah, anyhow, my my other server in Wisconsin um, auto rebooted at some point in time, probably because of Windows update. Yep. So, I have like nothing, and uh, I'm, I'm don't don't tell me you have like when you say rebooted, like it, did it wipe things, or are you not able to connect into it? I can't connect to it. I can't I can't remotely get to the login prompt. And and part of the problem is I don't remember what my ID is. <laughs> to for I've got I use AnyDesk, and AnyDesk could get me there. But uh, I don't remember. I for some reason I never saved that address to uh, to my my Surface, which is fantastic. But. Well, lessons learned for next time, right? That's opportunity, right? So that means I can create a whole different one. And I'm getting, I'm using, um, oh, I should say, a bees link is arriving tomorrow. And so I'll be using like a little i5 mini computer. I'm, I'm sorry, what's arriving tomorrow? Uh, a, a bees link. I don't mm. think I've ever heard of that. Hold on a second. Um, uh, let's see. I may be actually pronouncing it wrong. And, uh, orders. Uh, B link. I'm sorry. B link. Um, like B L I N K? B E E L I N K. Can you post a link in the chat? I, I, I'm actually looking it up right now. Sure can. Speaking of links in the chat, did you ever check out that last Epoch game I had posted in there? I did, I did. Yeah, I, I, I actually started the download process, and I was like, I've actually played it since. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Horizon. Here we go. 26% um, off right now. Here we go. Oh, 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 here we go. Over here. Down here. To this over there, and I—that's I, not really. It's, oh, there it goes. Horizon seven three thirty-seven fifty. Nice. I've been looking for something like that. I spun up a uh, a cloud instance like a month or so ago to use for a variety of different tools um but i would still like something local that i can do certain things on mm. i have my raspberry pi but you know that's not all lacking in the power department right so i was thinking I, I would be fine using a raspberry pi but the prices are just outrageous you cannot get like a four for under 170 bucks I'm like wow for that i'm just getting a mini, mini pc yeah right it's crazy. I, can, I cannot believe the prices. I do have a, new, a brand new Mac on my desk. I still need to set up, but is, is it a gaming Mac? <laughs> no, it's uh, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's from, my, from my previous employer, but I do appreciate the joke. Pretty, 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 pretty bad joke. Uh, yeah, it's a gaming Mac. I don't know. I suppose it's probably. Given the hardware, there's no reason Max can't be good gaming systems. No, it's, it's, it's it, at this point, it's really just more of 
if the games will run on it or not. Yeah. But the, I think the problem also is if you're running an emulator, it, the emulator takes up some of your system's horsepower, so whatever you gain from a... This is really good hardware perspective. It's kind of kind of lost. All right. There we go. But yeah, like one of the things I did is I spun up, uh, there's this virtual tabletop software called uh, Foundry that I use for running games instead of, uh, I realized, I was like, why am I paying them to host it when I can just set up my own server and do it that way? So I, uh, I tried to come up with a clever URL for the domain and everything for it, and I've been, uh, I got that set up, so I should I'll actually be running a game relatively soon, so I'm hoping that it will go flawlessly. We'll have to see. Is this, uh, is this like a, a R the RPG pen and, pen, and, pen and paper? Yep, that's yeah. Cool. Well, if if I have any capacity, I'm uh, I'm interested. Okay, I definitely need like two more players, so I can definitely. Uh... I will keep you in mind. Cool. It's for a uh, it's for a setting that I've been working on called uh, Through Darkest America, using a system called Shadow of the Demon Lord. The the, the short elevator pitch I can give you is: imagine that the uh, the Fae essentially actually ended up being uh, an actual thing and made themselves a or inadvertently made their presence known in the 1600s, caused a bunch of mischief and whatnot through Europe. And through a, a series of events, uh, the fairy world and our world uh, essentially merged together through a conjunction event uh, in 1782. And so it's 1885 um, in an alternate history, uh, colonial America, where you've got magicians and clockwork robots and things of that nature, just because why the hell not, right? That sounds kind of amazing. Yeah, I've uh, the people I've run it, I've run games set in it before, have gotten really into it. Last game, I had a uh, a player who they were playing a uh, like a goblin bard like character, and every time they uh, she would use any of her uh, bardic music, she would she would start belting out uh, American anthems and everything, and it just. <laughs> It got it got really hilarious when everyone was like they would, uh, you know, slaughter something mercilessly, as is the murder hobo way, and everyone would be like, America, America. Da, 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 da. So that setting, we're talking about mixtures of gunpowder and magic, basically. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, a series on Amazon. Or at least I watch it on Amazon. It's it's called um, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell. Um, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. Um, but it's very... Uh, one of the people I ran the game for, they told me I needed to watch it after they had played in the game. And it, it captures kind of the element of, uh, in a lot of ways, of sort of what I'm going for. Um, I won't spoil anything for you, but like the brief synopsis of it is like magic's been absent in Britain for a long time and now all of a sudden it's starting to come back and it follows two people who are quote unquote magicians and everything but it, it was very good I, I actually watched it with my wife who she's very hard to impress when it comes to media but she actually really enjoyed it so that's cool we are uh, actually <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a running joke uh, kid free weekend here uh, that oh, yeah. being just an infant, um, you know, who's demanding all of our attention all of our time. But right. other than the the infant demanding all of our attention at time, there are no other kids here. So we were thinking maybe a movie. And then I'm thinking, what what are we going to watch? And she goes, what were you and Zach talking about when we were out getting getting lunch? And I'm like, I have no idea. I don't remember. Oh, we were talking about uh, other post-apocalyptic films. And I had asked if you had watched uh, A Boy and His Dog Oh, and, right, 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 right. Okay. And The Road, and I think a couple of other ones came up, but those were the two that I remember. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Because yeah, you guys said that you were on a binge watching those types of films. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she's 
got an interest in it, but is, and has read a ton of books, but has not done a lot of movies ever, which is a bit a bit opposite of me. I, I guess he's more more along your speed, where you've done probably a ton of a ton of reading in the books themselves. Uh, I, I, I think I fancy I think I fancy myself somewhere in between, um, because like you, I've also I've watched quite a few movies. Definitely nowhere near as many as you have, um, mm. but. I, I I do I do think that I probably read uh, probably a lot less than she does, unfortunately. But uh, she, she I, I definitely know what you, I definitely know what you mean. That that's like one of the things. Like I'm glad. Like I love The Road as a movie, and I think they did a very good job of staying faithful to the book, except for a few things. But those are things that I'm glad that they didn't keep in, just because it would have been a very hard sell for them to put it in the movie. Um, you've seen that movie, right? Yeah, yeah, and lots of things just don't lend themselves to, to media well, as there, opposed there's to... Well, there's a scene... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a bit rough, but yeah, definitely worth it. This is not going well. Let's see. What am I going to do here? Uh, these, maybe? I don't know. Do you, what do you... I see you're building a porch. I've got a time delay here, but... Or a stairway. Or an entry entryway? Yeah, I really don't know. I What I'm actually looking to doing is I'm going to build a porch here, but I wanted to come right off of... You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll just do that, and we'll do step-ups to it. Yeah, we'll do that. Man, it's been a hot minute since I've looked at City of Heroes. Have they made any changes lately? I have, I have no idea. You know, I, I I logged in, and it was like I sucked all over again. It's like wow, I I just gone back to to just being terrible at something. But um, what I found was, uh, I think I did like a um, what's what's the word I'm looking for? I did a. Oh, the task force out of uh, Ouroboros that everybody runs all the time. Oh, yeah, I know which one. I don't remember what it's called, but I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. I did that, and that was pretty simple. And then I hit a pickup group uh, on Saturday, and that was okay. But it's like, I, I didn't have... I was playing a blaster, and I, I just wasn't doing well at it. So, I don't know. It, it's it's been a bit, and I think that you know the last time I played anything, I was playing a control-based character with a lot of heals. Right. So. Well, yeah. If I I don't know how much you played after, because it was uh, my tank. Christina was doing uh, Dominator. I think so. I mean, we told her the DPS. She picked a Dominator. Ah, uh, you know, whatever. It works. But uh, yeah, I have no idea. I, I'm uh, I'm, I'm probably going to play again for tomorrow night for a couple hours. Um, I played that blaster and I'm like, wow, I had no idea what plan I was going for regarding this blaster. So over the course of all the spare time I've had, I looked up a plan of action. And then I have like, I don't know, maybe... 50 million gold, which is not enough to do anything. It's enough to be insulting, basically. But, uh, there we go. That looks alright. I'm alright with that. Couple big doors. Do I, do I go dark? Uh, that looks really good. Go on to that. Go on to that. I'm in absolute positively cheat mode here, Zach, so. Yeah. I'm not sad about it. Go up here. Sure. All right. Da -da -da. I need to 
build need to build a roof. Of what? What am I building a roof of? more level. Zach was online, but he dropped. I, he was here just a minute ago. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. Nope, he's here. All right. Uh, what am I doing? Christina just walked in, and she's going to fire up her system, I think. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, it should be hooked up for the headset. That's currently on the little stand there. I thought I plugged it in. Alright. Okay, yep, she's she's popping in momentarily. she's talking but unfortunately what she doesn't know is that th the headsets I got are noise canceling so I can hear her, her dulcimer tones but cannot hear what she's saying oh cookie thank you framework going here. Um, Christina, you may have to pick your new defaults. Oh, you hear me? I don't know how to make you not come on mine. Put your microphone close. And I'll, I'll turn away. worked on my machine. to get the join code.
trophies, compendium, settings. Back. Well, let me see if I can invite you. server. Well, it's just kind of a norm for us, really, is to spend the first 15, 20 minutes of trying to figure out how to do it. Yeah. 